Yeah, well, let's look at um, more like a grammar than actual uh, letters. And this is a little, uh, would be really handy. When you add Elif Lem, this would be like the English the, the book, a student. You add it to any noun, ism, ism is an, a noun, Elif Lem plus an, a noun, you end up with a definite noun. Ma'rifa is definite and ism is noun. Example, so we have Al, you add a two word Kitab. Kitab, you end up with Al Kitab, the, and you end up with the this sound at the end, Al Kitabu. The same with Al, then Moon, you end up with Al. Hamar, you have Hamar. something that is definite. You take the alif lem away from it, and you end up with ism nakira. Um, something that is indefinite, a noun that is indefinite, or an adjective that is indefinite. For example, you have book. So, the book, and notes that with alif lem you end up with this. U sound, al kitabu. Now you you take the alif lam minus there. You take the alif lam away from a definite noun, and you end up so the the alif lam is gone. There is nothing there. But notice what comes after it. Instead of u sound, you put this what you call tenween, which is two things together, two u's together, and the sound will be kitabun. So you hear that N sound at the end, that's because of the effect of these double dhamma. And the same here. So when you see this squiggly thing, that's actually in print, it looks like that, but by hand it would look that, like that. And this will be called tenween. 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 And tenween, really what it means is making the N sound at the end, although there is no N. So that kitabun, kitabun, N at the end, kitabun, but there is no N. What it is, it's actually the tenween, which is the indefiniteness. So that is like the A, as opposed to the. So, al puts U or A or E and then when you move to the indefinite you have the noun and then the uh, ending and it's either on or N or in you just double whatever the sound is here it's only singular haraka and here it's actually you double them whatever the sound is, depending on the function of the noun. It will be clear when we start looking at actual grammar cases. Related to that, related to that, we have what we call sun letters and moon letters. So when you make the elif lem attached to a noun, the, you need to add a shadda. This is the shadda. You need to add the shadda. If the letter coming immediately after the alif lam is one of these 14. Uh, here is an example. So, alif lam, then sha, and the sha is one of these. It's right here, in fact. So, what do you do? You stress it. And you don't pronounce the L, so you go straight from Ashams. As opposed to the rest of the letters, the letters that are not part of these 14, you actually pronounce the E and the L, and you do nothing to the letter that comes after the Alif Lam. So, Al Qamar versus Ashams. Al Qamar, Ashams. So, here you move straight to the Sh. For the moon letters, you actually pronounce the L and then you pronounce the. the this the is what you call Al Huruf Ash Shamsiya. Huruf Shamsiya. 
الحروف الشمسية دي R14 So if you were to add alif lam So you add alif lam to a noun or, a, or an adjective that begins with any of these and now that begins with ta, ta, da, da, ra, za, sa, sha, sa, da, ta, da, la, or noon any one of these will, stre will be stressed <clears throat> there are some examples so we have alif lam sha is one of the 14 and then you want to make it definite so you move from here to the sha you pronounce that and you skip the l that is nothing you don't pronounce it as if it doesn't exist but you write it there but it as if it doesn't exist. you say ashams ashams as opposed to a qamar qamar is not one of the 14 letters the qa is not one of the 14 letters therefore you don't stress it at all and you pronounce a lam and the qa al qamar al qamar al qamar You'll notice that sometimes I'll say Al-Qamar or al qamar The Arabs generally do not end on a vocalized letter. If you're ending your sentence or ending a, a, a reading the text, if you're stopping, you stop on a sukun. As if there's a sukun. It's not there, you don't write it, but as if there's a sukun. So you'll say al qamar But if you were continuing, then you use the actual vowel.